You're live. Oh, What's up, world? What's up, catfish world? Ugh. Give everybody a second to jump on. What's up? How y'all doing? Uh, we are doing what I don't like doing, and that's night fishing. But we're doing it. We're uh, out here on Lake Wally hey. and uh, anchored up near the bank, trying to catch a flathead. See what we can get on to. So, hey guys. Uh, What's Got my look? son Grayson with me. I'm over here on that stupid and look at himself. But uh night fishing. Basically got out a bunch of live baits, uh, a couple of cut baits, and uh, we're just gonna see what happens. I haven't fished at night much this year. And uh, boy, a bunch of people jumped in. Very nice. Good little crowd of people. Uh, for y'all that haven't met him yet, this is my son Grayson. He's got hair as long as mine. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, so that's him. Watch out, second minute, too. Uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, we're just going to try it. Uh, we had some storms come through earlier today. And, uh, it doesn't say who joined. It, I know. They'll start talking in a second and they'll come in here. And if y'all want to ask any questions tonight, there you go. There's Lee. What's up, buddy? Hi. How you doing? Huffy's God Service. Wow, night fishing you are going to Yeah, I know. I'm night fishing. And, uh, Hey, what was I saying? Oh, we had some storms blow through. We let them blow Is through. I took a nap. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we're out here. Mike Chavez finally got in to see one of them. Amazing. Wait, wait. Uh, did you see what it said? It said. We are, uh, We anyway, we missed some storms. And it's a nice night. It's a nice evening. It's a little bit breezy. Uh, apparently, they've been releasing water. What's up, Catfish? Fail 66. There we go. Good. Daniel Ziegler's in the house. Uh, apparently, they released water. And... Uh, Apparently they shut the dam off upstream because we have what we call a backflow. There's back current, which is water flowing back upstream. And uh, I have to make a correction. What happens when you have water released and flowing all day? Uh, you'll have that happen. It basically is just receding and dropping back down. So anyway, we're gonna see what happens. We actually got some big lights on the boat. Lean back a little bit. There well, we go. There's a question. There's there you go. You've got young eyes. You can read it. What's oh, no. the question? Grayson's um, the, the correction. Oh, Grayson's calling y'all out because you spelled his name wrong. It's G R A C E N. Uh, so he's going to call you out on it. So. Yep. So be thankful they actually know your name, son, because they've been spelling my name wrong my entire life. Well, dang. Uh, so anyway, we're hoping for a bite. I'm not too uh, optimistic that I'm going to get one here in the next little bit, uh, simply because there was some boat traffic out here. They were releasing water. Like I said, there's been water flowing in the river out of the dam all day it looks like uh, uh southern fisherman corrected it good job uh, thank you and now we have a back current water slowing upstream so uh so yeah we got that to deal with and contend with so it may take a while for this stuff to settle down now i'm hoping in the back of my mind that i hear something uh squealing behind me the no. winds are pretty tight so that's not too bad that light horrible? Yeah, that light's horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm getting ready to leave for work myself. By the way, this shoot is brought to you by Sundrop. Oh, yeah. Taste the Carolinas. Tastes wonderful. Yeah, well, I think that's the wrong saying cool. for it, but anyway. <laughs> uh, <coughs> matter of fact, I just inhaled a bug. That was nasty. Oh, um. We spent about 30 minutes catching bait. Uh, we got a ton of bait. I had some left from this morning and the other trips, and, uh, we caught some more. We caught some. Uh, caught some brim. There's country girl. Country girl catfishing from out in Texas. How you doing? She hit my morning show and the evening show. So I'm pretty impressed. Uh, Impressive. Our plan is to sit here and probably stay till about line. ten, and we'll know whether the fish are here, and uh, then we'll probably hit a couple of holes and then call it a night. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of night fishing just because everything's kind of a pain to do. But uh, it's we're going to see what happens. I had a good morning this morning uh, after the past two days, just to bring y'all up to speed. Uh, I fished Friday and Saturday, and it was I had eight fish in two days. So I had five fish the first day, three yesterday, and then came out this morning and uh, had a pretty good day. I had a 35, uh, I think an 18-ish and a teeners and something. I had eight fish, so I had as many fish this morning, but I was fishing a totally different part of this lake. So so that's kind of what's going on. Oh yeah, uh, I got, I'm gonna see if these people are watching this. Okay. 
YouTube Pro. Listen, okay, so my friends at the gym, if you're watching this, like Ga Gavin, mm. Austin, Spencer, and Callie, if you're watching this, please say hi. Grayson has been recruited to bring in the sub-millennial crowd uh, through his friends at the gym and other people. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's his job and what he's tasked with. I figure if I can and get all the, and Jaden, I figure if I can get all the millennials and sub-millennials on my side, that will help me uh, catch up with Muddy River catfishing and his eighty thousand. Uh, 80,000 people that he has on his side. Uh, Jeez, Daddy, you got stream. 30 people watching. And Lee, you know why I have so many people watching? Because tonight, uh, uh, what, what is it? Live PD is not We're on. Waiting I've for learned Grayson the, w yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the worst time to do a live feed, I think. <coughs> and this is for Luke up at Northwoods Angling. And anybody else that does any live catfishing stuff. It's going to be Friday and Saturday because live PD is on. And from 9 until midnight, I am addicted to live PD. I love watching that show. Cool, I love, yeah, it's like a train wreck. I love seeing the police dogs eat people. I think that is the <laughs> most. I just, every time they chase somebody with a dog, I, I'm just like, please resist so you can eat, get eat by the dog. It's a good show. Um, Me too. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's fun TV. And everyone is but, out of church. Yep, yeah, everyone is out of church. I don't think, I'm going to be honest with you, Lee. Here's, here's my thinking, okay? I think there's a bunch of heathens that watch my channel because there was a pretty good crowd this morning. And uh, and the other ones that came on later were complaining that they were still in bed. So I, I think I think I've got a bunch of heathens that was out partying all night Saturday night. And, and the other ones just got up early and got on here. I wish we had fish. I wish we had fish. I wish we had a big slobber knocker flathead. I did catch a flathead this morning. Uh, after I did my live feed, so I ended up having a slam. I'm a uh, I had a blue channel and a uh, a blue Daddy. channel and a flathead. <clears throat> so hey, I got the slam. It was a small flathead. It's about eight pounds, so it wasn't no super monster. Catfishing's a heathen. She said something. Good thing these big guys go to church. Son of my nigga, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Did I hear something creak? Let me check some logs. It's fairly calm. We had a uh, blue light out earlier. There was a pontoon boat out here without any lights on. Uh, right at dark, we seen the, uh, we think it's, I think it's the game warden. It looks like game warden's boat. And they came riding by me and came off plane and looked over here and I told Grace, I said, get ready, we're getting ready to get checked. And then he took back off, so I don't know. It looks I think he realized that it was uh, the background looks too close fish. to quitting time, so we, uh, what did they say? The background looked what? No, I said oh. the background looks oh, okay. kind of fake because it's so dark because of the light. The light oh, yeah. makes the background. So it looks Turn. like we're just... Let's see what happens when you dim the light. Oh, look at that. Okay. You can almost... That is actually off of my sonar screen. <coughs> so you can actually almost make that work. We won't do that. Yeah, stuff. Jake. That's a good point, Jake. Shark Week just started, and that brings up a great point. Thank you, Jake. Yes! I have, Finally! I have a bunch Ooh. of shark fishing videos that I'm going to put out this week. So I'm giving... Um, Shark Week a chance to kick in. They'll probably be doing a bunch of a bunch of promotional stuff this week. So uh, I'm going to try to get some of my little sharks on there. I do not have Michael sw uh, Phelps swimming with the shark. Uh, I Michael don't have, Yeah, he's supposed to be honest. Honest, He is supposed to be racing a great white from what I heard. Oh, yeah, I know. So, I've seen that. Yeah. Hey, and you know what? That's a, that's a good one right there, Chris. You said Catfish Week. And that's actually uh -huh. something I had Gym kind life. of thought about and was going to bring up. I, at some point, it's going to get good enough. Hang on. Well, I'm at Longhorn. Uh, I was making sure that boat was on. What was the question? Oh, I think at some point it might be cool uh, if, like, Luke from Northwoods Angling and uh, uh, Matt, Chris Flores uh, and all of us did some live stuff back to back or something like that. I think you could actually do a, like a catfish week kind of deal. So who knows? The live stuff is pretty amazing. It's a great tool uh, to entertain and educate and show people what's going on and uh, I think reach people in a positive way. So uh, I got the wife. I got the wife hooked so bad she gave up riding. Right wow, that's pretty impressive. Uh, another buddy of mine. That fishes tournaments that a bunch of y'all do know Jeff Green. He actually, I think, is switching over two motorcycles. Um, uh, I think he got him a Harley and all this. Ooh, <coughs> I inhaled another bug. <coughs> oh, some kind Solid of little flies. Uh, Solid. Nothing, nothing washes down bugs 
like cold, refreshing sun drop. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was nasty. Anyway, uh, so sorry, the entertainment value is all on us. <coughs> Bug drop and uh, and Grayson right now because these rods aren't moving. These rods aren't moving. And uh, that's too bad. It's 9.18. <laughs> We've been set up for about 30 minutes. I've been on here jacking our jaws for about 10. I trolling works at night. Well, it's trolling. I've noticed trolling works at night. That's true. It does work at night. There's nothing wrong with drifting for fish at night. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the tournament, one of the few tournaments that I fished, I fished with a guy, Brandon Farmer, uh, who wanted to fish it, and I was wanting to fish it a couple weeks ago, and we did a bunch of drifting at night, and I think we caught all of our fish that we weighed in, tro uh, trolling, drifting, whichever one you want to do. What's up? And I'm not beyond doing that. We may end up doing it. Uh, is that your version of Mountain Dew? That's a very yes. good question. Yes, it is, yes. Country Girl. It's very similar to Mountain Dew. Uh, there's a couple of other variations. It's a citrus cola. Uh, actually, not a citrus cola. It's a citrus drink. It's a citrus soda is the correct. Let's see if we can get a good read there. There we go. If you can't find it, just pause Freshing. the video for yes. a second. Yeah. And you know what the best part about this drink is, about Diet Sundrop? You know what it is? The first four letters are the first four letters of my name, D-I-E-T. That's right. That's right. Some reason really? that just clicked with me. Yeah, that's true, son. Yeah. Wait, D-I-E. Oh. <coughs> oh, he's bright. He's bright. He's a, wait, wait. I think he's a lot prettier than he is smart. So there you go. What are you doing? Uh, but anyway, I just figured out today driving down the road. Now he's gonna do some crayon stuff. So yeah, if you got any questions, throw them out. Uh, I was gonna try to stall and drag this out until a rod folded over. But right now, that's not happening. So somebody was saying something about drifting. Drifting does work at night. And a matter of fact, uh, about 800 yards from where I'm at right now, I don't know, four or five, six years ago, I did this, hit your son, hit your head looks like a spider. Uh, we did the same pattern. We came up here and we anchored up and fished and uh, caught a couple of fish and then made a move and went drifting and I had one of the biggest three fish totals that I've ever had. Um, I think it was a hundred and close to 140 pounds in three fish and it all happened within a hundred yards. Uh, a matter of fact, they were all right on top of each other. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, you can catch them at night. Thanks man, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching there, old man catfishing. We'll have to check you out, old man catfishing and see where that's at. Oh. Um, Hope you guys can see that. What you do? Add my last. Okay, that's good. Dieter Sundrop. <laughs> yeah. One day when I'm famous and I have a deal with Sundrop, I'll have the Dieter Sundrop. But until then, <laughs> it'll just, just be. ER what do you believe the best rod for cats are? There is none. I'm gonna give you the simple answer. <coughs> a bunch of people have asked that, and uh, I, there is no best rod. Uh, there are a lot of good rods, and a lot of it depends on how you're fishing and where you're fishing. Watch that light. Um, and how you're fishing. There is no best rod. There is not one that you go up. Oh, I got the best rod. I don't need any others. Um, you rods sure about are. That? I am 100% sure about that. <clears throat> there are a lot of good ones, and yeah, uh, I really. I mean, I've got I've fished with several different ones, and there's These not rods one. Are actually good rods. These are great really rods. Cool. <clears throat> I've got some of the big cat fever rods on here. Big Medium rods. heavy action. Right here, good rods. I've got them. some uh, ugly stick catfish rods. Also good rods, <clears throat> and I've also got some of the ugly stick tiger and tiger light rods. <coughs> I am still hacking up parts of that bug. <clears throat> wow, uh, that, I, that I like, uh, and uh, they're all good. The uh, great thing about the big cat fever medium heavy rods are nice. That um, I like being able to pick up fish and flip them in the boat. It's nice on heavier fish. It makes it easier. I mean, it's easier to get fish in with those heavier rods. So, uh, and those aren't super heavy rods. You Wait, know. Are we on the NC side? Yes, we are on the NC side. Dang it! So, uh, but yeah, to your to your question, um, <clears throat> it depends how you're fishing and what you're fishing. If you're fishing reservoirs and places without a lot of current, you don't need as heavy action a rod. What made you uh, start? If you're not you casting. Save Actually, that question, Brian. I'm going to get to that one. Uh, I know that answer. Uh, if you're fishing a place with, you know, heavy current, you're going to need something heavier. If you're casting heavy weights, uh, you're going to need something heavier. <coughs> so, so, yeah, there's not a best rod. Uh, definitely not a all-around perfect rod for everything. So that's kind of my take on it. There's so many of them. Honestly, I don't think having a rod is that big. I, let me make sure I phrase this right. I don't think the rod is... 
uh, I'm trying to think the best way to put it without sounding, saying the rod's not important. The rod is important, but I wouldn't get spun out on not having a rod. There's a the right rod. There is a big bug. Get him off of there before he walks across and trips something. But yeah, that's kind of my take on it. There's a lot of good ones. I mean, there's a lot of good ones. I think pretty much all the ones that you see that are fairly popular right now are going to be good rods uh, to fish with. You know, there's going to be certain things with the way you're fishing and what you're doing that you will like better for wherever you're at. So you just got to you got to dial it in Lake for what Wiley you're doing. Is my favorite for big cats. Carolina Hookers Outdoors. What's what up, pal? Welcome water to join in, man. Lake Wateria is my favorite. I think you've caught some big flatheads out here before, haven't you? My favorite. <coughs> oh, watch out. Sorry. My favorite is Wateria and the... What was that? There was something here I wanted to get to. Good look. Yeah, the, 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 uh, uh, what made you use it for education? Uh, ow. Sorry, Just killed a, a fly. On there. That's good. I don't want you to uh, inhale anymore. Thank you. I appreciate it. Why did I start? Well, I, that's a good question. I, I've had stuff up on YouTube for a while. Um... Uh, a matter of fact, probably five, six, seven years, but it was under a different name. The, uh, <clears throat> what's that rod doing? Is it Boater? No, it's tight. Under Wiley Cat Man, Wiley Cat, yeah, Wiley Cat Man is what I had it under. And it was just putting videos up. It wasn't really, uh, wasn't really, uh, hang on, let me flip this seat around so I'm not leaning on it. Jump up. That way I can sit. Since we don't have to sprint to get to the rods, I can just sit down. Uh, but yeah, to answer your question, um, I decided back in January to try this for, put together a little two-year plan to put together a channel because I seen what guys like Steve Douglas were doing, all the positive stuff they were doing. And uh, <clears throat> Steve, honestly, Steve was about the only one I knew that was doing anything at that time. I really wasn't into it. Uh, I wasn't into YouTube, really, to be honest. Uh, what happened was we got rid of cable TV and satellite TV. We weren't watching it that much or we were watching a very small amount of stuff. So what I did was we got rid of it, and my wife got some kind of box or hookup thing that we could watch YouTube on our TV. So uh, I started watching YouTube stuff and seeing that, and I said, you know what, this would be a good tool, if done right and done correctly, to help educate people and uh, help teach people. So anyway, that's kind of what got me started, and it's growing and getting bigger, and I think it's a very good tool for educating people and making them better fishermen and anglers and stewards of the world resource. You weigh so, the 58 pound blue Sadly, I'm not teaching anything right now uh, except theory because I'm not catching. You weighed, you weighed in that guy. What up? And you weighed my 58 pound blue uh, Yep, there we go. That's right. I forgot about that one. I forgot coming up there for that one. Yeah. And by the way, show everybody Caroline Hookers Outdoors. Uh, put a little link. I don't think you can put a link in the chat though. But anyway, tell them what your uh, deal is with selling crappy jigs and I know you make a ton of different crappy jigs that are pretty famous but it's kind of that's kind of his claim to fame so yeah I don't think you can put a link I don't think the chat will let you but yeah throw your name up there and stuff so I know there's crappy fishermen from around the country that are tuned in and watching this and uh, there goes one hang on hang on hang on hang on what we got here there's one bopping right there stand by see what we got we may have something here hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on, hang on. Let me turn on the. This is like live PD when they go to beat somebody, you know. So hang on, bear. We might have a fish on. Let me see. If that looks like something swimming off of that. Real, real, real on it. Boom! He's on. He's on. Let me get some light over there. See some fish, or can you tell? Yes. Hang on, alright, you know the deal? Walk backwards, sport. walk back past me. There you go. I wanna hold him. I'll let you. Walk on back, walk on back. Walk on I ain't back. got no more room. Got it. Yes. Let's get physical. Physical. Bam, we got a monster in the boat. They don't have fins, do they? Like They do not have the sharp fins like another catfish does. We came for a flathead and we got one. My fish right here. Slide that rod over. End the deal. There he is. Oh, God, he's huge. Oh, he's huge. <laughs> Grab him. Let me dim that light now. Grab him on the bottom. There you go. Hang on. Let me dim that light down. Kill this. Hang on. There we go. Turn him top. A lesson in photographing a flathead. Hold him by his tail. I always show him from the top. They look a lot bigger. There you go. And one of the cool things for people that don't know, 
flatheads, unlike a channel catfish that will drive a fin into you, it's dang near impossible to get finned by one because the fins are very dull and grown over with uh, flesh on the end of them. So, a little technical point there. But, yeah, just a little small one, a little juvenile. Hold him back up again, show him what they got. Matter of fact, let me get some video of it for our, <coughs> with our GoPro. Let's go, boy. A little bit more light, hang on. There we go. <coughs> Move him okay. away from your face a little bit. There we go. What we're doing, folks, is we're shooting here with the GoPro. Look at the And bottom. going live. Look at the bottom of that. Yep. Hold him back up again. Look Get at him the back. bottom. Oh, yeah. Get him back in the light. Muddy as ever. There we go. Good job. <coughs> All right. Go ahead. Yeah, you, got, you gotta get video of me throwing this thing up. What do we do with all of them? I, uh, I don't think he was ready to leave. Ooh. All right, you wanna lead him in? Drop him in? Got him? Right. Chuck him. Chills down my spine when he let go. My arm. What do we got here? Ooh. There you go, folks. We gotta catch a flathead on camera. Very nice. Wasn't exactly a monster, but we'll take it. This game, my arm, like, gonna rebate. What do we catch them on? Show you what we're using, guys. Where are they at? So, using the Gamagatsu Big Cat circle hooks, trying those things out. Working good. What they look like trying those out we got the eight ounce got the ten ounce i don't have any super big baits so i'm not using any of the uh the ten ounce right now bear with me grab you a drink i am gonna put some another bait on and get this one back in so grab you a uh, drink real quick with this rebated go get a snack or something commercial break look out padre mm. here the commercial break you gotta have the commercial break right here Commercial break. I got here. Love the father son duo. Look at my fingers if you can see that. Can you see it? They got bristled a little bit. Look, Daddy, someone, who was it that said it? Nick Welch said, N love the father and son duo. Better be careful. You're going to get outfished and the kid right, is going to take over your channel. I, I hope so. I Good hope that job. happens. Flip around there. Let me get on that side. Hey, someone said I'm waiting for Grayson. Mullen. Actually, guys, nothing could be better than uh, taking it over. <laughs> Look, guys. One of the things I explained to my wife today, uh, and somebody was asking about why I do the channel, is that uh, catching big fish is great, um, winning tournaments is great, uh, that's all awesome, but more of my thing is more about legacy, and that's kind of more of the reason I'm doing this stuff. I'd like to have a bigger impact on the fishing world than a record or a uh, winning a tournament or a big tournament or winning a bunch of them so and that's where i think some of this education stuff and all i think it's that's the pot is positive spin that i put on it and uh that's my hope goal motivation and i uh, have a positive impact on anglers lives so that's why we're doing it uh, there's uh another one we've got well, that one, Daddy. Look at that one. it'll fold it'll fold but the thing about uh that's kind of why we do what we're doing so it's fun. Uh, if you notice on that bike, just for you guys that don't fish for flatheads a lot, and I don't know if this is true on river flatheads or not, but a lot of the reservoir flatheads have a very slow swim off with it bike. Uh, oh, it's God. not, sometimes they'll fold it over and slam it and it goes crazy. It cut me a little bit. Was it the fish or the line? Oh, was it on the little bristles in its mouth? Yeah. yeah. It'll have a very slow swim off with it bite or get it in her mouth and fiddle with it bite so that's why I like on that one the rod never went over you can see it twitching and moving I talk race him real 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 boom he reels down on it it rolls a circle hook into his mouth and we're ready for business so so that's cool we got one on camera impressive dude 
Boing. I am. That's awesome. Wait, we didn't do it yet. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's do a crappy video. Dude, I'll do a crappy video. I have no problem fishing for anything. If there's any of you guys out there that I'm fish coming. for different stuff, I'll jump on the boat and jack my jaws and you don't have to say a thing. I know that the whole talking and camera thing scares the crap out of some people, but I'll do that. In. You just show me how to catch fish. And I know you're a good crappy fisherman, so you can catch crappy, especially, I guess they'll probably start getting good again this fall. And uh, yeah, I, I, that would be together. awesome. As long as... Uh, can I come? See, what I was going to do, I was going to go to High Rock and catch a bunch of crappy and look like I was somebody because people in other parts of the country don't know that any idiot can catch crappy in High Rock, but I was going to look like the king of the world. But anyway, no. We'll do that sometime and put some of your products and show people what your products do because they're pretty cool. You come up with all kinds of different ones. Be sure to follow him on Instagram. He always putting pictures up with the little crappy jig things he makes. One says, hey, question, what do you choose tonight? Oh, whoop. Yes, you're uh, uh, go back. What did I do? There we go. Hey, Dater, why did you choose to night fish instead of fishing in the morning? All right, very good question. Well, I'll tell you why. Uh, because of me? Yeah, he wanted to go. He's been wanting to go fish <laughs> for a few days, and uh, we were going to try to go at night. He doesn't want to get out of bed now in the morning because he's been staying up late at night. Like 10 o'clock. Uh, so he does, I've been going in the morning. He won't get out of bed. So He goes at like 4.30. I said, well, we'll go at night after boat traffic, and every night we've tried okay. to go this week. Uh, it's we've had storms roll in. We had them tonight, but they came in early in the afternoon, so we were okay. So, uh, so yeah, that's why we decided to do night. I'm normally not a big fan of night fishing. Uh, I just, you know, getting around and running around is a pain. It's obviously hard to see because it's dark. I got some striper. Did I hear some? Or is that can? That can. Uh, the biggest thing in the summertime is storms rolling through. So, so yeah, that's why I'm doing it. I'm real tempted to go to. Lake Norman uh, here sometime Monday or Tuesday, and uh, I was one on boat. This is a good at the coast. Uh, Josh, my boat is a Carolina Skiff 198 DLV with a 90 horsepower Suzuki, and it does as good as a boat this size will do at the coast. Uh, anything uh, inside the jetties, obviously you're going to run around fine. Uh, three foot's about my limit. When you're calling two to three feet, I'm fine with. Uh, and then I just play it by ear on what's going on at the jetties as far as going out. Trying to go out on a rising tide and all that kind of stuff if you've done any coastal fishing. Uh, it's not a, it's like any boat, you know, boat of this design, you're not going to run 25 knots out there and three footers. I mean, you know, you're going to get beat to death doing it if you do it. Uh, I'm very comfortable in this boat. It has very high sides on it. Uh, and will take some pretty rough water. It takes a lot to take one over the back or over the bow, and uh, it's 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 a, it's a for the money and the type of boat it is. It's it's a good boat. I feel I'm just very I'm probably over cautious. I see some guys go out the jetties on some days in John boats that shocks me, but uh, uh, I kind of know I've done it enough now a little bit sort of kind of to know for want to stay away from and uh, I don't uh, I don't I don't push anything down at the coast because when it goes bad in the ocean it goes bad quickly and uh, it goes downhill quickly so there was actually uh, um, a uh, what's it called a water twister oh yeah the uh, that was in one of my YouTube live shots was a uh, uh, the water spout that came up out there have I get you, off the wait, water I paid have to you ever fished for the, for the blue no, I have not. I have not fished tillery. The only thing I fished on the Yakin chain has been, uh, is there a fish? That rod, man. Which one? This one. Is it still there? Oh, let it go, let it go. Did it fold over? Stand by. It folded over. Live PD, we've got a felony traffic stop. Go ahead and reel it in, let's check it. I'll pitch it back out there. But no, I've only fished bait, and I fished a tournament there, and messed around in there. Okay, did some striper fishing. Bear with me, grab a coffee, we're gonna rebake this rod. Grab a coffee. <laughs> that was a piece of, I think that was a cut bait. Hear that? Hold that right there. Is that a striper? Hey, was that a striper? Striper? Yeah. Not here. You can hear the splashing. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Is that what the rod was? Was it, was it a 
was there a fish on top of the water? Yeah, you could you not hear it? All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about this. Striper are biting in Murray right now. I heard that. Uh, somebody else told me that. I've heard that from a couple people now uh, that you can uh, get on them down at the towers. And uh, another place I despise fishing <laughs> the summertime is down at. And here's what I don't like about going there. If I could go do every time I've went has been on the weekend and it's uh, that boat ramp near the dam. Oh, God, it's hideous. It's just it's always been storms and windy and it was just a pain but yeah that's i want to that's actually a good video if i can get the boat lit up take these lights up higher which kind of threw it together tonight and put this light on here matter of fact i think i can Dad, yeah. is that a fish on this one? which one this one no oh, there's a little bit of boat drift i just had a bug up my nose Yeah, I think the boat's actually drifting upstream a little bit and pulling on it. It's right near that tree. <laughs> I've got a bug in my nose. God bless America. So anyway, great questions, y'all. If you said one and I missed it, throw it back up. I can actually read them. Where are you? Oh, uh, are you anchored? I'm actually anchored. Uh, good, good question there. Um, I am anchored, and... something I am anchored and uh, that's what I've been doing the whole time uh, if I was trolling second part of your question I'm trying to listen to what's going on uh, if I was trolling I would do like I did during the day enter about a half a mile an hour you can actually go faster right now the water temperature is warm it's 88 degrees I mean you could be bumping down through here at 0.7 and you'd be fine I just try to go I just try to keep it around 0.5 and you'll be fine I mean you'll catch fish I may try to drift. We'll see. We're going to see here what happens. Uh, I may try dragging some baits through here and see what happens. I haven't drifted it. Yeah, that one is hung on something. I'll deal with it in a minute. That blues of what does it say? Yep, that's a good quick question. Hang on. That blues of flatheads always been in Lake Wally, if not, where they been in the lake. Good question. Uh, All right, guys, here's the deal. We got an anchor that popped loose. The wind's picked up out here. The way we're anchored was anchored for current and we're floating upstream. So we're gonna have to reel in some stuff and change some stuff real quick. Bear with us, I'm gonna let the feed roll. Uh, I know it's gonna be boring here for about five minutes uh, because we're gonna have to reposition some stuff. So if you wanna hang around, hang around. We're gonna reel all this stuff in and put them back out and fish. So if you wanna hang around, bear with us. All right, reel Wait, everything. Just try to go to your bedroom if you have a TV. Reel everything in. Reel them up, leave the bait on them, put them in the rod holders. Well, they get to see us reel stuff, man. Uh, either they get to watch or they get you. Have a choice. Watch us reel everything in or go watch TV. Actually, if they got brim on them, pop the brim off, throw them in the live boat. And whoever asked the question about um, turning the light up, not to look up my nose, uh, the question about blues. Ask it again when I get back on and I'll explain all that. It's a good question. Uh, yeah, we're all kinds of twisted. All right, guys, I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to end this speed. We're going to reposition and drift. The wind's really picking up. I'm going to be better off drifting trying to anchor in this. So I'm going to end this one. Keep your notifications on. I'll probably come back on 
and do about another 30 minutes or so. All right, check back in.